Is Prince Edward jealous of his brother now that he wears the crown? We asked a body language expert to tell us how royals really feel about King Charles III, and the answers might surprise you. The dynamics within the royal family are ever-changing, but Prince William seems to have remained constant in his respect for his father, King Charles III. Pa, we are all so proud of you. When Charles was officially crowned King of England, William played a special role in the ceremony, and in front of the entire world, the prince vowed to be loyal to his father. But it wasn't his words that caught the globe's attention. It was Prince William's actions toward his father that were so telling of where the two stood. William bowed in front of King Charles and kissed him on the cheek, two actions that both speak volumes. Body language expert Jess Ponser told The List, always proper and respectful, Prince William's kiss on his father's cheek shows not only affection for his dad, but also esteem for his role as the King of England. Ponser further explained that William's respect for his father may even go beyond the others in his family. While it's mandatory for Prince William to bow to his father, he still made an effort to be as respectful as possible to King Charles. Typically, family members meet eye to eye when showing affection, but Prince William bent down as King Charles was sitting, showing respect for the situation. In a unique fashion and in a way that only he can, Prince William combined both a personal and professional pose in one singular action. Since the beginning of her relationship with Prince Harry, Meghan Markle has constantly been compared to Princess Catherine. From the outside looking in, it seems that Catherine hasn't struggled to form bonds with any of the members of the royal family, except Meghan, and she seemingly has a great relationship with King Charles III. Ponser compared the two, saying, Kate Middleton has a much easier time with King Charles than her sister-in-law. King Charles often looks at Kate with fondness and a certain gleam in his eye that seems to offer approval to the future queen. A sweet exchange between the princess and the king seems to confirm their adoration for one another is reciprocal. In this photo of the two, Catherine and Charles are smiling at each other, interacting casually as though they're related by blood and not by marriage. Ponza said, As seen in this photo, not only do Charles' eyes indicate affection and familiarity with Catherine, but his body is turned in her direction as he smiles at her. He clearly is enamoured with and appreciative of her presence. In return, she comfortably looks at him directly in the eyes as she motions her hands in active conversation. Here, we can clearly see she is chatting with her father-in-law, not the King of England. It seems as though only one of King Charles III's sons holds him in high regard, and it isn't Prince Harry. As the world knows, Harry left his royal position for several reasons after marrying Meghan Markle. Now that he lives in the United States, his relationships with his family members, particularly King Charles, seem to be suffering from the distance. Harry has returned to his home country a few times since leaving, most notably to attend his father's coronation in 2023. At this event, all eyes were on Prince Harry to analyze his behavior and, according to body language expert and celebrity love advisor Nicole Moore, there were several actions to dissect. Moore particularly noted how Prince Harry's demeanor seemed tense on his father's big day. Although Harry was present for the occasion, his awkwardness spoke volumes about the dysfunctional relationship between himself and Charles that evolved in the years prior to the coronation. Harry's body language here does speak to the distance that he and King Charles still have in their relationship. Harry appears to be in self-protection mode and he's not at ease being at his father's coronation. One would assume that if their relationship were at a better place, Harry wouldn't feel the need to protect himself via his body language gestures. Look, I, 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 love, I love my family. Everyone related to the royal family is under a microscope when they're in public, especially someone who joins the Windsors through marriage. As such, Meghan Markle has been under constant scrutiny since she began dating Prince Harry, and it only got more intense as their relationship continued. Ponsa told us, Meghan Markle has not had an easy time integrating into the royal family. She, with the help of her husband, Prince Harry, has made an effort to overcome her anxiety and discomfort with protocols and actual relationships with his family. Not used to how to act in this royal setting, she often displays unease and caution. One can see this in her body position and facial expressions. Ponsa said that Meghan seems to be more uneasy with royalty as a whole than with King Charles in particular. One moment in Meghan's royal history was particularly telling of how she felt about King Charles III. While at the Trooping the Colour in 2018, Meghan was standing behind Charles, giving him an interesting look. Her head is tilted in a more casual fashion as she glances in King Charles' direction, more of a familiar glance. He seems unfazed by her overture and focus. In many ways, it comes across as a desire for attention, something many royal watchers have criticized. King Charles III's only sister, Princess Anne, seems to have a lot of affection for her older brother. The two have always been close, sharing hobbies, traveling, carrying out royal duties, and spending quality time with each other and their families throughout the decades. Ponsa told us, King Charles and Princess Anne seem to have a wonderful brother-sister relationship. Often seen laughing and smiling, they appear to enjoy each other's company. It's great to see the king in jovial, comfortable spirits. In particular, one series of photographs taken of Anne and Charles sitting next to each other at an event fully displayed just how 
strong their sibling bond is after all these years. Ponsa said, as seen in this photo, their animated expressions and gestures indicate that the two are having a great time together. Side by side, the two have their knees pointed toward each other as they both look in the same direction in laughter and frivolity. It's such a captivating scene that it makes many of us wonder what they're enjoying so much. We should all be so lucky to have a sibling connection like these two. What kind of king do you think he'll be? <laughs> Well, you know what you're getting, because he's been practicing for a bit. Prince Andrew has become somewhat of a black sheep within the royal family. King Charles officially removes his younger brother, Prince Andrew, from Buckingham Palace. Controversy surrounding his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein has turned him into a pariah, and his public interactions with King Charles III suggest their relationship is more transactional than anything. Ponsa told us, Prince Andrew and King Charles do not appear to have a strong brotherly bond. While a brotherly bond is typically jovial and animated, these two are not. In photos taken in 2012, before Charles was king, Prince Andrew was seen standing next to his brother with his hands behind his back, holding a conversation that appears to be the kind typically shared by co-workers rather than brothers. And the photo is no anomaly. Ponsa said, As seen here in this photo, Prince Andrew often has his hands behind him as he walks. Whatever energy or feelings he may have on a given topic are literally being held captive behind him. He walks forward with the king in caution as the two chat. Likewise, it appears King Charles is there for the conversation, but not the connection. King Charles III has a unique relationship with his sister and brothers. Now that both their parents are dead and with his ascension to the throne, Charles has assumed the patriarchal role among his siblings, one that is far different than any other family structure. This change in dynamic has presumably affected the relationship between King Charles and his brother, Prince Edward, and it shows in the way they interact with each other in public. At the Trooping the Colour in 2023, King Charles was on the balcony with Camilla, Queen Consort, his brother, Prince Edward, and his sister-in-law, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh. On examination of this event, Event, some interesting insights into their dynamic were drawn. Moore told us, Prince Edward appears to be holding back somewhat. He's smiling, but it's a reserved, almost polite energy, as if he's giving a nod to Charles's amusement but won't participate fully in it. Their body language here shows that the two are close and connected. However, Prince Edward may feel subtle competition toward King Charles and may hold back so as not to let Charles shine. King Charles III has several people in his life who call him uncle. One such person is Zara Tyndall, Princess Anne's daughter. Like her mother, Zara shares a special relationship with King Charles, as is evidenced by their public interactions. Moore told us, Their body language seems to convey that they may forget about the royal protocol when with each other, because their love of being close and in each other's company is what matters most to them. With as many other nieces and nephews as King Charles has, it seems that none are quite as close with the reigning monarch as Zara. Moore said, Based on the body language in this picture, it seems safe to say that Zara might be his favourite niece. When analysing royal relationships, it's important to remember that this family has the unique caveat of having protocols that dictate how they interact physically with one another. The higher a royal is on the totem pole, the more actions of respect other royals have to show them. Because Princess Beatrice is rather low in the line of succession, she has to act a certain way around many of her close family members to show respect for the crown, particularly King Charles III. Ponsa told us, Princess Beatrice appears to be compelled to do what is right when addressing her uncle, King Charles, but honestly, there doesn't seem to be a strong connection between the two. In this photo of the two royals, Princess Beatrice is seen kissing her uncle on the cheek, and the details of her actions indicate that they have a rather formal relationship. Ponsa broke it down, saying, Seen here in this photo, she leans in to kiss him on the cheek, but she doesn't actually kiss him. Rather, it is a cheek-to-cheek -cheek gesture, without her lips touching his cheek. She has puckered lips looking completely past him. There also appears to be a lack of body contact. She leans in with only her shoulders but does not make a connection. Are they uncomfortable? Not really. But are they close? I say no. After Prince William, Prince George is next in line to become the King of England. It's a major responsibility to shoulder at such a young age, but as George showed at his grandfather's coronation in 2023, he's already preparing for the role. Ponsa said of the King's grandson, Prince George made a spectacular appearance at his grandfather's King Charles's coronation. While it was his grandfather's moment, onlookers could not help but notice the future King, Prince George, participating in the royal festivities. He really received a first-hand look into what will likely be a future experience. Based on their past public interactions, Prince George's relationship with King Charles III seems to be very formal. But the two do have certain unique aspects of life they can bond over, like preparing from a young age to become a king. That unique bond was put on full display while Prince George helped carry King Charles's robe at his coronation. Ponsa told us, While the two didn't necessarily share a connected moment together, they did connect in a shared experience. Prince George was regal, appropriate, and very royal. At such a young age, he's definitely showing us how he is being groomed to be a leader one day. Prince George might not be as close with King Charles as other members of his family, but he certainly has a high level of respect for his grandfather.